Good day and welcome to our short video on how to easily and most importantly freely, as in for free, restore files from different sources, including your C drive, a USB stick, or perhaps a USB drive. Now obviously the easiest way to get things is just to look at your recycled in. If the files you're looking for are in here, well, that's easy, right? But that's not what we're really talking about here. We presume you already know about the recycle bin. There's a bunch of utilities you can buy. There's a bunch of utilities that pretend to be free, but will only restore like one file or tell you what files they can restore, but they won't actually do the restore. So how do you get your files recovered for free? Pretty easy. There's a utility that's free for Microsoft that nobody seems to know about called WinFR, as in file recovery. WinFR is available for Microsoft. If you just type in WinFR in your search bar, you'll see right here, recover lost files from Windows 10. Now, what we're going to do is save you some time here, however, because this is command line. And for some bizarre reason, Microsoft did not make a GUI for it, a nice interface. So you can run the command line and it works just fine. It's not that hard. We've already downloaded and installed it. Just right click, bring up a terminal or perhaps a PowerShell or a command prompt, whatever works for you. And uh, we've already installed it. So you just type in WinFR, that's your question, and it'll give you the switches. It's pretty easy. It's WinFR and then the source drive. So what do you want to scan? Where do you want the files to go? And uh, what mode? Uh, basically a deep mode or not a deep mode, right? Just a quick uh, scan. Okay, nobody's going to want to do this. So what you do is go to the Microsoft Store, and in the top, just type in WinFRGUI, as in Windows File Recovery Graphical User Interface. Click on WinFR GUI, select Install. If I, we already have to save the time, so let's go take a look at it. Let's go to Start, and we'll bring up WinFR GUI. And you can see at the top here, it says fully invoking the features of Microsoft Command Line, and that's all it's doing. I prefer the GUI. I assume you do, because almost everybody does. When you delete files from a computer, they probably aren't actually deleted. They're marked so that the space that they are using can be used by something else. In other words, those files can be overwritten, but the files aren't actually gone. So it's important if you're doing something like this to not use the disk very much. You want to have the hard drive in as close to a condition as when you for when you deleted them as possible. So let's look at the C drive and save too. You think, well, why wouldn't it save to C drive? Because you never restore uh, files to the same place you're getting them from. Again, that's back to the point of you don't want to use the drive because you might overwrite the very files that you're trying to get back. Whether we're doing a quick scan or a deep scan. And let's go into advanced settings. And there's a few choices here. So maybe I just want photos. And we'll do a quick scan so that we don't have to wait all day. We'll speed this up so you don't have to wait too long. Bingo. So let's look at the recovered files. You can see it found 3,700 files. Let's take a look. And you can see it put it on a USB stick that I had already plugged into the computer. If I didn't have something plugged into the computer to do the restore on, it would want me to have something. So let's just take a look here and I can look at this recovery log. So if I had a specific file I wanted to restore, so I could just do a search and go, oh, there it is. It found it. Great. But I'm not trying to do that. I'm just just a demonstration. So let's go into others. Okay, let's go into PNG and we'll just randomly select the file here. It's probably all just garbage. Yeah, just garbage. This is this literally is garbage. But the point here is that a quick scan found a lot of stuff. Let's show you two more things and then we'll wrap this up. I'm going to delete this quick scan because it's just taking up space. Let's go back to the home page and let's do the same thing but on a USB stick. And you'll notice here. I only have the choice for a deep scan and that's because it's on an external disk. And we're back about seven or eight minutes later and you can see it's found 402 files. So let's do view recovered files. We can double click on this recovery log and it'll tell us what it's found, which is a lot of pictures and some uh, videos. So let's go take a look. Yeah, it's uh, vacation stuff. Cool. Okay, so let's close this back to home. And now let's do the full scan this time on the C drive and see what it finds. So we we'll click on the C drive. We'll change it from quick scan to deep scan. This is going to take a lot longer, but it's going to give us a lot better results. But we'll just say photos again so that things are comparable. We will come back in a while when this is done. And you can see that it found 8,350 files. So roughly two and a half times as many. Okay, so let's say this doesn't find the file that you want to restore. 
What's your next step? Well, the next thing to do is probably get a utility, but the, the one that we like is from CCleaner, the free Recuva. So we've got Recuva already installed. Here, there it is, and we'll run it. And you'll notice it's not that much different. So let's uh, click next. What do we want to get? Just pictures, right? So we can do that. I'm not sure where, search everywhere on this computer. Next, enable deep scan. This will run for quite a while, probably the same amount of time and do roughly the same thing. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We would certainly appreciate it. Subscribe is also appreciated. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can reach us directly up here at www.urtech, that's www.urtech.ca, or you can leave a question or comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day.